Since its debut on July 13th, the Ford Bronco has dominated the world of automotive news. From desperate rumors about new variants with more power to the first looks at additional trim and equipment, we know you want to know more about the Bronco. And that's just what we're gonna give you today. This is our first ride in the 2021 Ford Bronco. And before we get started, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button for more great off-road goodness. Ford designed the circuit around the Holly Oaks off-road park to give a general idea of the Bronco's level of capability. There were steep ascents and descents that showed off the SUV's power and impressive approach and departure angles, a set of moguls to check out the articulation and an electronic disconnecting sway bars, and a bit of water to show off the fording depth. All in all, it was a very high level overview of the Bronco's capabilities. Before you hit refresh, no, our camera isn't blurry. The Broncos on hand were still relatively early on in the build cycle, so Ford requested that we blur the interior footage to not show the unfinished cabin. As for our steed, it was a Bronco Badlands with a turbocharged 2.3 liter engine and a seven speed manual transmission, complete with an honest to God crawler gear. In other words, it's the most enthusiastic spec possible for the Bronco, even if, as of right now, it's not available with the Sasquatch package's 35 inch tires. We are with Dan Schaefer. We are in the two door Bronco. Is this the, this is a Badlands that we're in right now? This is the Badlands. Badlands, yes. 2.3 liter turbo, seven speed manual transmission going down a very, very large hill right now. And getting a little, a little drifty. Plenty of power, and we are just charging up the hill right now. <laughs> this is the uh, predecessor to the real hill that's about to come. The real hill. Okay, so we're gonna go up a, a really proper hill. Yeah, that was just a little. Get you a little excited. There we go. I should note that we are in pre-production vehicles, so the sounds that you're hearing, the rattling and whatnot, that's not final. The mechanicals are what's mostly final, and that's what we're checking out right now. The Turbo 4 pumps out 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque, while the crawler gear takes the crawl ratio to a staggering 95 to 1. There are front and rear locking differentials, electronic disconnecting sway bars, and on the Badlands, 33-inch off-road tires and an upgraded suspension. Whoa! <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's, it feels, you can see me bouncing around here, but I've, I've been bounced around far worse off-roading before. This is, feels pretty compliant for, for how fast we're going around these trails. Big hill right now. You can see that he's not having to work the steering wheel too hard. <laughs> so we've got right now the rear diff is locked. What drive mode are we in at the moment? Uh, we're in sand mode. We are in sand mode, and there are seven drive modes on the Badlands, one for every occasion basically. Mind if I give you a little demo on uh, low speed articulation? Let's see the low speed articulation. Okay. This is what the people want to see. All right. We're gonna disconnect the sway bars. Yeah, we'll do that in a second here. We're gonna put it in four low now. Okay, four low. And we'll put the front locker on. So now we got front and rear locker. Perfect. And of course with the manual, you know about the crawl gear, right? Pop it into crawl. Yep, so now we're about, we're 95 to one. So just breathe on the pedal. It's just going. Okay, sway bar disco. And you can sway bar disconnect it. Well, uh, well under load, which is not something you can do at a Wrangler. And we just puttered over that, no problems whatsoever. Going up a big kind of breakover type hill right now. We're gonna actually go through some water right now. So we're reconnecting the sway bars, taking the front locker off, keeping the back locker on. So back off now. Back is, back is off now, so. Gonna charge through some water. A little bit wet, but that's okay. The top's rough. <laughs> it's you, don't, you, don't, you don't need a rough. It's, it's getting, getting a little warm out, isn't it? Honestly, I gotta say, like the Bronco Sport, I'm really surprised how 
composed it feels. I know it might not sound like that with my voice, but... Pretty good I, I, I think you're just having fun. I think you're just trying to be... I don't want to go slow. Fun. I want to go, go fast <laughs> over those bumps. This is the sandbox. All right, sandbox. I guess there's going to be much sand. Not much steering effort there. Right? I was going to say, not much steering effort. You don't really feel the stability control grabbing or anything like that. It's kind of letting you do what you need to do. Yeah, that's all turned off. Oh, that's all turned off. Mode. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're in sand mode again. I definitely shouldn't have eaten lunch before this. <laughs> Dan, thank you very much for that ride. That was fantastic. Whew. I figured you want a little more of a thrill ride than just your little, leisurely little, Sunday ride. A little bit more drama. That was good, but I can't wait to drive this thing. The capability just from that feels off the charts. That is the Bronco. You have just seen me get thrown all over the place by the sheer speed and ability of this awesome off-roader. We're super excited to get behind the wheel of this thing, but after riding along with it, one thing is very clear, this thing can go over any terrain.